All right, so I wanna go over the most expensive home for sale and the most expensive home that sold this week. So let's jump right into me sharing the screen so you can see it. So I'm, I always pull up these statistics, I always look at them, and if you look at my videos, you'll find more and more. But new for sale. So that way you can see kind of what the what the upper upper limit is that we're seeing here. So the home that is currently for sale for the highest amount is this one right over here. Um, 2602 Southwest 110th Court. They're asking 1.3 million. And if we look at my statistics, let me see here. We are looking at five bedroom, three bath, no half baths. Total square footage, 3,100, which is which is a large home. Built in 2002, no garage, uh, has a pool, and it has a large lot. So, okay, that tells me. The other thing that's interesting, it's been consecutive days on market. So how long it's been, even if it's been on market, off, on market, off, has been 228 days. So let's go into it, and let's look at these pictures. So, again, this is for 1.3. And you can kind of see right here. So we have, let's see if I can make, I don't think I can get full screen. Uh, beautiful entrance, nice driveway. You can fit a lot of cars there. Uh, okay, great. You have this crown molding. You have, looks, I can't tell if this is impact or not. It might be. The home, it looks like they're living in it. The kitchen. Everything seems fine, to tell you the truth. Okay, you got wooden floors. I don't know if they're hardwood floors or if they are... So this one looks like they're hardwood floors. Okay, nice little office, which I guess this would be one of the extra bedrooms that they're referring to. You got it? Okay, you got the pool. Okay, great. So then you go oh, here. This is a corner. Good to know. So you got the corner, the driveway. Doesn't seem like it's a busy street. Let me see 26. I mean, it's close to Coral Way. All right. So you kind of get an idea there. And then we're going to look at the statistics here. So it's been on the market only four days. Um, let me see here. Uh, taxes are $14,000 for the year. So it's always great to see. So that way, you can, and built 2002, you can see it. So this is the for sale highest right now. Now let's, let's look at the sold highest. So the sold highest this week closed sale was for 850,000. And if we pull to my statistics, the way I like to look at it. So they were asking 850 and they got 850 for a four bedroom, four bath. You're looking at 3,600 square feet built in 1970. No garage with a pool, 9,940 square foot lot, not waterfront, only on the market for two days. And it is on 35th and 99th. So yeah, so that's, um, might be University Park. So, <clears throat> okay, the ranch style single story home. It's good, it looks like it might be barrel tile roof there. It did nice editing there. You can get a good layout, the pool, as here and you still still have a little bit of of a yard you have a driveway okay nice little pool everything looks nice and clean nice it, it that the wood really pops out with the white uh granite countertop so here we go this is the entrance very nice nice big patio area too okay yeah it, it, they made it they definitely made it look nice Okay, the, the floor doesn't seem like it's very new, but it's it's in okay condition. It's definitely habitable. You can move in. Um, open, it does look open. I, I wonder if this is a bedroom or not. So it, it would just open up the house so much more if this were also open. Okay, looks like all impact. The washer dryer. Nice, okay. So you have a shower and a bath. A bidet, toilet, and I can't, it looks like it's just a one sink in there. It's hard to tell from the pictures. Okay, here, there's another one. And here we got 
another one, and there's the bathroom. So the, the way that the, the pictures they did it was they separated it. Now here, considered other. This might be like a a nook, but this is kind of cool. I hadn't seen this before. So it's like a, it has a dome look to it. So the bedrooms. Here we go. Okay. It's nice to know. So, okay, so this home sold for 850. How does your home compare? And you're also going to have to look at when you're selling because different markets are going to have different prices as well. So, very important for you to analyze. And now you can see, okay, what's my competition if you're going to go active and what has actually sold that can be used as a comparable for an appraiser when it comes time to sell your home. All right, hope this is helpful. And that way you can stay updated on our market.